Welcome back gamers, season 19 of Apex Legends. We're gonna run you through all the changes in about three to five minutes. We're not gonna keep you long like these other YouTubers doing a bunch of nonsense. We're about to get to the point, that way you're ready when the season launches. So with that being said, let's get right into it. You can watch these great clips in the background. First, let's hit you up with the legend changes. Number one, Catalyst. Her hitbox will no longer block projectiles. Her throw distance has been reduced and she now only has two traps at once. Additionally, the cooldown on her Dark Veil will happen as soon as she sets her ultimate instead of when it ends. Mouse and keyboard players are angry. We were all about that Bangalore with the smoke. You controller players with aim assist. We need a change, but guess what? You got the upper hand. The length of her double time has been reduced. Her smoke has been reduced, and the stun penalty for being hit with a rolling thunder has also been reduced. Ouch, that really stings. A little buff here for Wraith. Her passive should be more reliable. Pathfinder can now scan care packages even after an allied skirmisher has already scanned it. Rev's ult has been reduced from the time extension window from 30 seconds to 3, and Newcastle's wall gets an improved max leap height and a reduced recovery time after landing. It's going to be the big boy time. Time for the big boy to shine. Where I talked about the rank changes, you're going to climb much quicker based on your MMR, and there is no cap on who you can play with. If you're silver, you can become a predator and play with them. You know, I'm, I'm talking to you, little Timmy. I believe in you, little Timmy. You got this. This is a big update to you solo queue players. From now on, when you respawn your teammate, they're going to get the armor they died with, and they're going to get the weapons they died with. No attachments, two stacks of ammunition. So guess what? Your teammates are worth now more alive than they are dead. So guess what? Respawn them as soon as you can. We've been waiting for it. Storm Point is getting a huge upgrade. There's going to be a revamp of Storm Point. 40% of the map has been adjusted following the storm that took Storm Point out in rotation of Season 18. We've got Watson Town taking over Antenna. We also are getting Fish Farms replaced with Shipfall, Gale Station, and High Point. Lightning Rod has also got some adjustments coming its way. So I think by looking at the overall view of the map, it looks way better for rotations, looks a whole lot better than a bunch of third parties. I'm all about it. What do you think? I'm going to stop here real quick. Thank you so much for watching this video. We've been making Apex tips, tutorials, tricks. We've been making these videos non-stop the last four months. We're going to continue bringing in the heat. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below which change are you most excited about. Your weapon changes this season are as follows. The projectile size on the Sentinel Longbow Charge Rifle have been increased. The Charge Rifle's projectile drop has also been reduced. The bow check is getting a faster initial draw speed and has a tightened spread on shatter caps. Shatter caps can also be toggled. Okay, see the 30-30's hip fire spread will be increased with each shot. The Hemlock can lose one damage per bullet, and the Devotion Havoc will no longer lose one damage when equipped with a turbocharger. The crafting rotation, the RE45 and 3030 come back to the ground. The 301 and Volt are going into the crafting station. The Wingman's going back to the care pack like Season 1. There's a damage buff, there's a Skull Piercer Elite buff, and the Booster Loader. This is going to be a big, big boy. A big boy. 112 bullets with it, too. You've already seen a lot about Conduit. She gets a speed boost when running towards enemies. Her tactical is a blast your allies with energy, regenerating temporary shields for them. When in danger, they can heal a red shield from empty to full, if not interrupted. Her ultimate, she'll deploy an array of shield jammers, which damage and slow enemies. These damage shield or flesh health jammers can be destroyed by enemies, and they're deployed in the line. Ooh. We're getting new banners, and to be honest with you, these things look Dope. I can't wait to use my Season 17 Master's Badge. I really earned it, but Cross progression is coming. And guess what? You can finally merge your accounts. You can get all of your heirlooms for your from your console account to your controller account on a PC. Yep. As always, thanks to Hypermist for this, but devs are working on a nerf for aim assist. You know why? Because you don't need it. Use both of your thumbs at the same time like I got to use both my arms, okay? Get over it. We've got to tell you this, but not like you really care. Vantage is getting a one bullet increase on her ultimate, but who cares? She's still the worst legend. The best thing to do is just delete her from the game and start over fresh with another thick lady. Also, you can use the hollow sprays while skydiving, which is great to people like me who never got the opportunity to get a skydive trail. Oh yeah, the L-Stars come back to the floor too, but again, who cares? Who really cares? All right, listen, that's all we've got so far. We're going to continue to release any big changes they have. We thank you a ton for watching this video. It means a lot to us. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back here next week with a brand new video showing you how to throw a thousand barrels with caustic. A thousand barrels. All right, we said it. We'll see you next one. Boys, I just need one more person to come in and help me. Hurry down one of them. He's running. Yeah. 
Uh, just fence. Yep, there you go. Pat, it's past right here. Pass right here. Smokes, I've never seen that in my entire career. 